biology was always my my biggest dream. Since I was a child, I love I love life, and I love living creatures. And uh, working uh, with Arosha, uh, it's it has been a very big um, thing because it also gives me a possibility to study biology, to study the living things. A Rocha Portugal has been monitoring uh, moths in Cruzinha Garden since uh, 1991. This is an important work, not only as a research, but uh, for environmental education, because you can explain a lot about the, the creation using moths as, as uh, an example. It's a micro -moth. My PhD is related to pollination networks, but also in a, a context of fire recovery, because this is a, a big problem, especially in the southern countries. And we really want to see what's happening with the network, all the links insects have with the plants using pollination after a big fire and uh, how does the communities and how does the ecosystems recover from that. There's three main tasks. First, I have to go into the field and I have to collect insects during the day and also insects during the night, and that's mainly moth. We finished to set all the four moth traps. We saw a lot of uh, moths already around the traps. And tomorrow morning we come again and we'll see what we have in the traps. Oh, moths are wonderful. They are my favorite. There's so many of them and they vary so much and they are not so well known and that kind of fascinates me. At the lab work we collect the pollen from the body of the insects. We keep that, that information using slides and after we have to look at through all the slides to see the pollen grains which were transported by the insects. And if we have pollen grains, that means there was a link between the insects and the plants. And using a, a statistic program, we can tell how, uh, how are those links, how strong they are, and we can tell how resilient it's the ecosystem to changes. Conservation work is not my only role at Cruzinha. I help with environmental education, with the children and the teachers' training, but I also have the responsibility of house management and that implies a lot of time in the kitchen. I think the kitchen is like a, the heart of the, the house because every time people come here, they enter the kitchen and they, we say, could you please go to the sitting room? No, they will stay in the kitchen. They will want a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, and then they'll stay and chat. What are you preparing? What are you doing? How you do your shopping? And then when we sit around the table, we're actually enjoying not just the taste or the smells, but we're enjoying the fact that it was produced with, with care. And I think our best conversations, are, they happen around mealtime, because it's when we are relaxed, we're enjoying some food. It's like uh, an opportunity to talk, to express the feelings, to ask questions. So why, why are you here? What has got to do with the environment? What has got to do with protection, the nature? What has got to do with life? I think um, the more you study the living things, the more you, you, you stay uh, and you enjoy nature the more you get to know the God who created everything and the more you are, in a way, you are tuned with God. And that's what, that's the difference, I think. And that's the difference for Arrocha, because when we do research, when we go out on the field, when we stay in the lab, we're doing this and God is just there, sitting next to us. 
and we can enjoy the company because we understand each other. It's 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 a very big um, connection actually. So that makes all the difference.